Welcome to Friday, Emerge Live, coming at you with a parent kids workout. Today we have Angie, and we've got, who do we have? Sawyer. Sawyer, they're gonna show you a series of exercises involving you and your kiddo. Sometimes you'll be using your kiddos as weight. Sometimes they'll be using your body to find some leverage to get some exercise in. But the point of today is to spend time together just you and your kids, and to get a decent workout, and of course to have fun. So we're gonna start off with a general warm up for everybody out there. We're just trying to get loose, trying to get the muscles, a little bit of blood flow to the muscles so you feel better when you're doing the workout. So go ahead and find yourself in a squat position. Now when you're down there, put your hands in the inside of your knees and push out. There you go, so you're gonna feel a little stretch. You feel a stretch in your inner thighs. Hold that stretch. Very good, Sawyer. Angie's deep. Sawyer's deep. You guys look awesome. This is cool. I wish I was getting this workout in. I'll do it next time. All right, now let's have you all stand up. I want you to do a lunge to the side so that your lead leg bends and your trail leg stays straight. There you go. That straight leg, the inside of that straight leg is going to get a little stretch, and that's a good thing. You want to feel that stretch. You're trying to get yourself warm and ready to work out. We've got a series of really fun exercises to do today. So I'm going to make sure that you're ready to do them. Your body's ready and warm. All right, let's go to the other side now. Other side. Kind of an important concept in stretching. When you're stretching, don't go to the point that it hurts. Go to the point that you first feel it. First awareness in that stretch. Just keeping that back leg straight. So There we go. And just hold it for a moment. All right, next one. Everybody knows what a butt kicker is. It seems like we do butt kickers every single time. So a butt kicker is when you're alternating your legs up. Just go ahead and kick your butt from the back. Let's do that. A little stretch in the quads, warming the hamstrings, getting the heart rate going. Very nice. Both sides looking good. Again, we got a series of really fun exercises today. Kind of unique. All right, let's go from butt kickers to high knees. So get those knees as high as you can. Now we're stretching the opposite side, stretching the glutes, stretching the hamstrings, flexing the hips, working the quads, getting your cardio ready for workout. All right, last one. Let's go full blown squats. Go deep into the squat, as deep as you can without pain. And back up, very nice, both of you. I like the wide stance between the feet. Typically, that's going to be a better stance. Most people are built that way, to squat that way. There's no one way to squat. There's no one depth to squat. It's what your body can do. Very good. Oh, yeah, soybean. And let's do two more. Two more from here. Two more. Two more. Two more. Go, soy. One. One more. One more. Chest up. Come up. Okay. So we're gonna get into some core work, some partner core work right now. But the first thing I wanna do is see everybody in a plank. So show me what a plank looks like on the floor. When you're plank planking, you wanna push out, push out with those belly muscles to make sure you're staying stable. Drop the butt just a little bit. Keep your head down. Everything's in alignment. You're a board, you're a flat board when you're in a plank. Locked in, okay. So now we're gonna have you and your kiddo face each other. So Ann, just have you over here. Soy, you stay right there. And you're gonna to continue to plank, but you're gonna play patty cake. Opposite hand up, get it off the floor. Actually raise the hand off the floor, there we go. Here's the kicker though, you've got to keep your plank. It's not just about the patty cake, it's keeping stability, it's keeping a really silent plank. Try not to rock, one more. Take a little break. We're gonna give you 10 seconds. We're gonna do it again. When you're working your core muscles, you don't need that long in between sets. Let's get a little bit of blood flow back to the muscle and you're ready again. How's it going, Beaner? Soy, very good? All right, with that said, let's do it again. Planking slaps. What's up, David? What's up, Angie? Six. Keep going. Seven. Five. Nine, ten, eleven, Quality time with the fam. 12, 13, and 14, done. So relax for a second. I want you guys 
to go fetch a ball, a light ball, soccer ball, basketball, something like this, kickballs, light, light enough to push back and forth. If you don't have one, you could just simulate rolling the ball back and forth, but you're gonna put a little bit more distance between you and your kiddo, and you're gonna plank and roll the ball back and forth between each other. And once again, it's not just about rolling the ball, which is fun, but keeping the plank when you do it. So roll the ball back and forth. There we go. Keeping the plank. Looking good, girls. This is awesome. Warming up that core, activating the core. Done, relax. Again, we're only gonna give you about 12 seconds, 15 seconds. The core recovers pretty quickly, so we're only gonna do a little bit of time in between sets. Sawyer, you're amazing. What do you got to say for everybody? Uh, I... Say, keep working hard. Keep working hard? That's my girl. All right, let's do it again. Very cute. All right, Plank, you're rolling the ball back and forth. And go, let's count, Sawyer. One, we'll have all these workouts. Two, archived on the Emerge Fitness Training YouTube channel so you can get them later. You don't have to, time to do it this morning. Six, seven, What's up, Susan? Eight, Keep going. Nine, Partner planks. Ten, eleven, and twelve. twelve. Your core should be thoroughly warmed up, if not worse, right now. We're going to move into something a little bit more challenging. We're going to add some more body parts to it. So get a little drink. It's gonna be about 30 seconds. We're gonna go into the next one. Run, Sawyer. So now, if you haven't already, go ahead and get a ball. Get a light ball, soccer ball, basketball, kickball, something light like that, not as heavy as a medicine ball, because we're gonna be doing some reps here. All right, Bing, run. So I'm gonna have Angie and Sawyer, when she gets back, put themselves back to back. And Angie's gonna have to get down for this one, she's, so she's gonna feel a little quad burn. Big drink, girl. All right, and this is gonna be a med ball rotation. What's up, Marion? All right, so you're going back to back. You're gonna rotate and hand the ball. So show Sawyer what it looks like. And you go around the other way. All right, so now they're on. You guys know what we're doing. Let's go ahead and go. The dynamic duo, this is excellent. Exactly, you wanna focus on rotating either through your hips, so you're pivoting the foot, or your upper back, not so much your lower back. If your quads are burning, there's more to come. Keep going, girls. Almost home. Two more passes. All right, now you can drop the ball for a moment. You're gonna face each other and your quads are gonna burn, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a half squat patty cake. So you're gonna face each other, hold a half squat. Parents get it worse because they gotta get lower. So hit the thighs, clap, hit the hands, hit the thighs, clap, hit the hands, continue. Just hold that position. And if you think this is easy, go ahead and try it. This is sneaky. Uh-oh. Angie's up in the ante. She's competitive. Even with the six-year-old. This chick's competitive. Keep going, keep going. We're going to go back to the rotation. Down. Clap. Boom. One more. Back to back. Go back to back. Grab that ball once again. We're going back to back. Rotations. Here we go. Hand it off. And to the other side. Very nice. Very good. I'm gonna try to get you about a 20 minute workout today, but it's pretty intense. Not heavy, high volume. But you'll feel it. You'll feel it in the muscles, you'll feel it. Your cardio, your heart. Yep. All right, back to the patty cakes. Get them done. It doesn't really, you don't have to go fast with the patty cakes unless you wanna embarrass your mom or your dad. Yep, it's about holding that position. I got you on the clock this time. Trainers always say they got you on the clock, but they don't. They're lying. What's up, Stacy? Oh yeah, this is a burner for mom and dad right here. Sneaky. 
Burn, 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 burn. Roast a marshmallow on my <laughs> I think we're going to do that tonight, Sawyer. And done. Take a drink. Get a drink. Get a drink. Everybody get a drink. I want to remind everybody to check out the Emerge Fitness Training Facebook page for a schedule of all of our classes. We've got a wide variety. We've got mindfulness. We've got yoga. We've got strength training. We've got PE for kids. We've got parent-kid workouts like you're seeing right now. So you're signing her name to her workout. Do a couple letters because you're back, girl. And the next one we have, I'm going to consult the old workout chart. Oh, yes. So the parents, you're going to be on your back. Or no, I'm sorry. Parents in a push-up position. And Sawyer, you're going to be in a push-up position on your parents' back, on Angie's back, this way. So you get this way. All right, get your legs out. All right, Sawyer, I want you to do 10 push-ups. Angie, you just hold. There you go, bend in the elbows. We're gonna do lots of push-ups today, lots of body weight push-ups. So while Sawyer's getting a little bit of core and some upper body work, Angie's getting a ton of core work because she's just got to hold that. Good, give me three more. Now, Sawyer, you get back there. Get back in that position. You just gotta hold it though, your face. Now, Angie, knock out the push-ups. Sam, what's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Sawyer getting a little bit of core work. Angie, no doubt, getting some upper body work here. This is no joke. Angie, get three more. One, two, and done. Good. Shake it off, because you're working the whole time. I'm going to give you about 15 seconds. No matter who's doing the push-up and who's doing the plank, you're both working. How you guys feeling at home? Is this fun? Any requests? We'll be doing it every Friday. Parents and kids, you're using each other for weights, for resistance, for motivation. Okay, now do what you did before, Sawyer. Sawyer, you're gonna knock out the push-ups. So, kiddos, knock out the push-ups first. Here we go, push it up, soybean. Go! My girl, with a smile too. How cute is that? Good, keep knocking it out, getting stronger. Working on that fitness, girl. Keep rolling. All right, Sawyer, you hold. You got to be back in that position. Angie, go. Oh, no joke. Mm -hmm. And relax. Shake it off. 15 seconds. We're going to give the parents a little extra challenge. Sawyer, next time... Mommy gets down in her plank. You're going to lay across her back this way. Long ways across her back. Straight down your back. Yep. Just lay on top of her. All right. So, parents, if we can get four, if we can get eight, if we can get ten push-ups this way, you're getting some real strength training because you got some resistance. All right. And the plank. Sawyer, just lay on top of her. Long ways. She's just laying on top, this way. Yep. There we go. Let's see what mama's got. That is impressive. If y'all are doing this at home, you can appreciate how hard this is. Give me three more. Tuck that chin in. Yeah, that is awesome. Very good. Everybody get a drink. You blowing up, Angie? I'm sore from this week. All the workouts you've been doing. Yes, the live workouts are a lot of workouts. I'm impressed by you. Okay, so we're going to consult the list again. Oh, uh, this is going to be fun. Okay, so the first one, mom or dad, you get to lie on your back. Kiddo, depending on how big your kiddo is, it's going to make this heavier or, or lighter, obviously. So you're, you're laying across mommy, and you're going to press your kid. You're going to bench press your kid. Okay, so you're Alright, you're up here, like a T. Yep, Go across you. mommy's hands. Okay, nope, almost there. Just lay down. Oh yeah. Alright. So you'll see some of these exercises again in the following week so you'll know what to do. Alright, go ahead and press. And press. You got a wiggly, you got a wiggly weight. That's a Sawyer Bell. You might have a Ryan Bell out there. 
might have a Charlie Bell. Either way, they're Kid Bells. And done. All right. So now. Soybean, let's do what we did before. Your feet are up, Angie. Sawyer, you're going to put your hands on mommy or daddy's feet. Gross. And what you're going to do is do a push-up off her feet. So get back in your push-up and show me a push-up. After the push-ups, mom and dad, you're going to stay in that position. There you go. Angie's got very tan feet. There's a secret there. <laughs> nice job. Keep, keep knocking them out. Hello, Amanda. Almost there. Now, Sawyer, stay down. Stay right there. Now, mom or dad, leg press your kid. There we go. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. And effective, surprisingly. How hard is that, Angie? So Tyler Martin? I got you to know Sawyer nine. Ten. I think you skipped a number. Eleven. Do two more. Two more. Alright, Sawyer, back to the push-ups. How's those legs? Push up off the legs. Oh yeah. Sawyer's knocking this out like not breaking a sweat. Keep going, girlfriend. Oh my gosh, Good, I know, I know. Keep going. No, don't even listen to her. <laughs> You're good. She's complaining. Bend those arms, Sawyer, bend those arms. Lock your core. Tyler, is Andrew doing this, man? Two more, two more. All right, mama, knock it out. You're back up, she's gotta do her leg press, Sawyer. Last one. Get back on, I'm pushing you, okay? Just... Here we go. Push one. Stay straight, oh yeah. Get those legs long, lean into it. Yes, that's it, Sawyer. Don't make it easy on her. Twelve. What's up, Lisa? And you got it. Everybody take a break. You've been working hard. We're going to, again, consult the workout list and see what we got. Okay. Man, parents, your legs are going to be just blown. Sometimes you write workouts at home. You're like, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds about right. And then when you see them done with clients or kids or whatever, you're like, holy cow, that was... That was not right. That was way too much leg. Anyway, we're going to squat. And you're going to hold your kid in your arms like a baby. And you're going to squat your kid. After that, you're going to be the resistance for your kid's overhead press. So you're going to do some upper body. Kids are getting a lot of presses. Parents are getting a lot of legs. All right, so pick your kid up. Hold him like you did when they were little. And squat. Now this is real life weight training. Just like that push-up earlier. So you're not gonna get many. Let's get eight. Good. Now, Sawyer, stand in front of Mama. Have your arms up like this, and Ange, you're just gonna push down on her hands while she's pushing up. Push against Mom's hands. Raise the roof. All right, so push against Mom's hands. Push, yeah. As you push, you brace. That's my girls. Tyler says 10 more. 10 more. One. For you, Ange. Two. Oh. <laughs> Give her some more resistance. Make your kid work. Make him strong. Too strong. Six. Just a fun way to hang out with your kid and get a, a really good workout, too. Strong and take on those brothers. That's right. Take them out. Forget taking on. All right, we're back. You're squatting your kid, so shake it off. Shake it off. I'm going to go back to squatting your kid. Tyler, you better have Andrew on one shoulder, Emma on the other. And Michelle, and Michelle on your shoulders. <laughs> All right, very nice. Looking good. What up, Danner? Man, you could do this with Dwayne. You're going to get 10 this time. Oh. All right, kiddos, press against mom or dad. Yeah, press, Raise press the hard. Raise the roof. Push, straight up, one. Yes. Let's go 12 reps here. Three. Count them, so I four, five. Make her work hard, Ange. Six. Brian Norton. Eight. Getting the parent kiddo workout. You're using your kids or your mom or your dad as your workout equipment. That is awesome. 
All right, y'all take a break, shake it off. I want to remind you again, if you can't do the workout right now, these are all archived on the Emerge Fitness Training YouTube channel. We have a schedule every week of absolutely free classes, almost 30 classes a week. Look for the schedule on our Emerge Fitness Training Facebook page. Oh, Nanner's using two dogs. That's legit. Yeah, Nana. Yeah, that might be something we do next week. <laughs> All right, so next. Nana? Nanner. Mm. All right, so for parents, you're going to scoop up your kid just like you did before for the squat. First, you're just going to hold them there, and this is called a farmer's walk in. Whatever you have available, your living room, if you're outside, just a small area, you're going to walk in a circle with your kid. So walk in, in as big a circle as you can go. This is a farmer's walk in. It's not just about carrying weight. It's about maintaining a good posture, upright posture. You can see Angie's back is good, she's bracing. This is good core work. You can tell their, your kids about all the chores they have to do, whisper it in their ear for the rest of the day. Keep going, and just do another circle. Once Angie's done with this circle, she's gonna put Sawyer down. Sawyer, get in a wheelbarrow position. Mom or dad, you're holding the legs and we're gonna go in a circle again. So now the kid gets to work. Mom and dad walks behind. So they're gonna get some core work, some shoulder work. There you go. Yes, Miss Sawyer. Sometimes at night, I'll grab Sawyer's legs just like that. And she'll walk all the way up the stairs to her room on her hands. This kid's a beast. Keep walking, let's do another circle. Ooh, Sawyer, you got another circle in here? I know you do. Sawyer doesn't stop. Hey, Emma. All right, shake it off, y'all. I'm going to give you about 20 seconds. We're going to go back into those farmer's carries. So the parent's going to scoop that kiddo up. Reminds me of that book, I Love You Forever. Back and forth, back and forth. All right. Scoop that big old kiddo up and walk. And, and again, Farmer's walks, you're walking with weight, but it's more than that. You're staying neutral and stable. It's a plank, it's a walking plank. It's a functional core exercise. You're moving and using your core. And then you get to hang out with your kiddo too, which is pretty awesome. Angie's trucking. I'm gonna have to back away from this one. Keep going, keep going. Is it hard? It makes it easier if you just go fast. You gotta go fast, but do it well. And back to the wheelbarrows. One more for the wheelbarrows. Kiddos and parents, we're getting close now. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you want something added to it. We're gonna do it again next week, Friday at 10. Oh, look at Soybean, super cute. You're smiling the whole time. That's the way workouts should be done. I got a really ugly game face when I work out. I look like Popeye, closing one eye, snaggle tooth. No bueno. Sawyer, however, smiling. Finish up the circle. You know, I'll give you a little break. Sawyer, I'm impressed. That is awesome. Hey, high five, girl. You're amazing. All right, consulting the workout sheet. We're getting close, y'all. All right, oh yes. We have a sit up with ball toss, so grab that ball. Make sure it's a light ball. Soccer ball, basketball, kickball, something light. You guys are, everybody knows what a sit up is. I'm not a huge fan of sit-ups, but every once in a while I'll throw them in there. As long as you're not doing them every single day, they're not great for your back. So we'll use them sparingly, but we're going to use them today. You got the ball in hand. Now the idea is, as one partner comes up in a sit-up, they're going to hand the ball off. And Sawyer, you got to stay up until the ball comes back to you. So go down, do a sit-up with the ball, come back up, hand it to mom, and stay there. Stay there. Now mom goes down. Mom, you go down now with the ball. All right, Sawyer, stay. Now, Mom, down with the ball. Sit up. Hand it to Sawyer. Sawyer goes down. Mom, you stay. There you go. Come on. Back up. There. So even when you don't have the ball, you're still working. You're still holding yourself up. Back down. Good. Keep rolling. Burn them up. Burn those abs up. When you're up, you don't want to really be all the way up. You want to be like two-thirds of the way up. See how hard that is? So you're holding yourself with your abs, with your hip flexors. Back up, good toss, nice strategy Sawyer. Let's go one more, one more, and I'll give you a little break. All right, take a break, we're gonna go 20 seconds, we're gonna do it again, I know that the abs are burning. Softy. We've got a special end, ending finale 
After this set, we're going to do one more set. We're going to do get back ups. All right, one more. That's a good idea. See what Angie's doing with the feet. Hold your kiddos' feet down. It can be hard to do a setup if you don't have super strong hip flexors. Lots of times, little ones don't yet. This is not just an ab workout. This is a hip flexor quad workout. It's the muscle that lifts your leg when you're doing high knees. So you're gonna feel a lot of that, and that's normal. The hip flexor is attached to the back, so that's why every once in a while on a sit-up, it could cause your back to, to bark a little bit. And that's when you wanna stay away from sit-ups. Okay, keep going. Got it. Good set, y'all. I think the feet on the feet. The feet on the feet. It's working. Let's go one more for Sawyer. One more for Mama. Then, All right, so take a little break. Get a water, get some water. We're gonna do one minute and everybody's gonna do it together. It's a finisher, they're called Get Back Ups. If you train with me, if you train with me as part of your soccer team or baseball team or Emerge PE, the first one, you've seen these before. It's one of my favorite things to do. For one minute, I'm gonna say one of three things on your back. If I say on your back, you're gonna to drop to the floor and go to your back and then I'm gonna tell you to get back up. I'm gonna say, go to your chest. And you drop to the floor in your chest and then get back up. Or I'll say, go to your side and just pick a side. Go to one side or the other, maybe flip flop, and then you get back up. And I'm gonna start going fast. I'm gonna say one of those three things. You just gotta do it quick. So one minute, they're called get back up. I'm gonna get you on the clock. And about two seconds. All right, ready? On your back. Get back up. On your chest. Get back up. On your side. Get back up. On your other side. Get back up. On your chest. Get back up. On your back. Get back up. Pick a side. Get back up. On your back. Get back up. On your back. Get back up. On your side. Get back up. On your other side. Get back up. Come on, Sawyer Bean. Get up. On your side. Get back up. On your chest. Get back up. Y'all, very, very, very good day. That was awesome. Again, I want to remind everybody, you can find all of these workouts archived on the Emerge Fitness Training YouTube channel. you find our schedule of classes on Emerge Fitness Training Facebook page. New ones every week. We'll be doing the Parent Kid Workout every Friday at 10. Emerge PE for Kids every Thursday at 1.30. I also want to remind you, a buddy of mine, Mike Sonderager, where we're doing PE, he's the music guy. So he's going to do a sing-along today. A lot of the songs your kids know and love and you sing and dance and have fun and kind of just focus on the good stuff. So he is at 1 p.m. today on Mike Sonderager Music Facebook page. So hopefully you can join us and him there. And we will see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Soybean.